Today I'd like to show you how I trim a uh, an irregularly shaped bowl using my Giffen Grip with the flexible sliders. And what I want to demo today is a, a heart bowl that I've done. And this is an example of one with a trimmed foot. When you have an irregular bowl like this, it's a little bit more challenging to uh, trim and, and get it centered. And uh, the, my Giffen Grip has these wonderful little flexible sliders which you allow you to um, position them in various uh, spots so you can uh, trim something that is not perfectly circular. It's pretty cool. Um, when I discovered these, it really uh, made trimming these so much easier because I used to have to uh, center it on you know, just a bat with lugs of clay and, and I do find that a little bit more cumbersome. So, I'm going to show you how to trim a bowl and this is the bowl that I'm going to do. So this bowl, you can see it's got a very chunky bottom. I would not want to leave it like this. I'm going to want to take off quite a bit of the, uh, the weight down here. I'm going to position my foot, oh, probably a little bit over a half an inch in from the edge based on where the transition is happening on the inside. Uh, that's where the, uh, the foot placement is, where the transition happens on the interior. Let's talk about the way that the <coughs> flexible sliders work. If you remember from a previous uh, video on using the Giffen Grip, it has sliders that will slide in at these holes, but the cool thing about the flex sliders is once you put them in, you can reposition them just by squeezing out on this. It allows you to reposition them in various spots. So knowing that I have <coughs> a heart bowl, I am going to position the um, uh, the little crease of the heart and the uh, point lined up with one of the sliders. So I'm going to want one of the sliders to go in here. Oh, and you know, by the way, I should mention, when I threw this, I made the heart on the uh, day that I threw it, when, when it was still plastic, I made it rather upright. And then I just took a tool, made a dent here, made a dent pushing out, and then kind of just shaped it with my fingers. Um, just in case anyone wanted to see that. I didn't actually make a video on that because I thought it was pretty straightforward. So, I'm going to start off here. These two slider are a little bit farther in. And this, uh, I should say, they, they're a little bit farther out. And this slider is a little bit farther in because I know it's going in there uh, in the middle. And I'm just going to rotate a little bit and get a sense of how off I am. Okay, so if I make a little line there, that's an indicator. Um, it's a little bit too far out in this direction, so I want to go in a little bit more to center up that foot. So, I'm going to back it out just a little bit, scoot it that way some, and then I'm going to push the slider in a little bit more. So I just push that slider in a little bit more. I'm just going to erase this. It's going to try that again. Okay. Now that looks much closer. I still think I want to come this way just a smidgen. So, again, I'm going to back it out just a little bit, push it a little bit that way, and push the slider in some a little bit more. And I think I'm going to be pretty much on it at this point. Yep, that looks pretty even. So that's how easy it is to position with the flex sliders. They are awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and get my wheel speed up a little bit faster. Sorry for the noise of my, the motor of my kick wheel. And trimming this is going to be just like trimming any other piece. And <clears throat> FYI, I usually do try to catch a lot of my pieces while they're up here and I put them in my trimming bag and then I'll just squirt them down with water because of course I'm recycling all my clay by hand. I don't have a pug mill at home so I try to keep my clay in good usable condition as quickly as I can after trimming. Okay, so it's going to look a lot like trimming a regular bowl except for when I start to get out where the form is changing shape, I kind of back off on my pressure because I don't want to gouge it. Now 
goes around that transition. I'm uh, making several of these bowls to put up on my Etsy site since it's the very end of January. Probably should have done it a few weeks ago, but they might be thematic to sell in the next week or so. Alright, now that I've trimmed the exterior, now I'm going to go straight down to trim the interior of the foot. And remember, when you trim a foot, you're going to go straight down from the top, never in from the outside. Because if you're going straight down from the top, then you know that the center of the foot will always be in proper alignment with it because you have to go straight down on the middle. Okay. I'm just going to round out the foot, ease that transition. All right, and then here on the outside, I'm going to take a scraper and kind of ease some of my tool marks. And then I'm going to just dip my rib in water. I'm going to go to a slightly softer rib. And then I like to finish it off with the red rib. Now this is for just trying to create a very smooth surface. I wouldn't bother doing this if I were um, going to have throwing lines, but Got a little air bubble there. Okay. All right. Got a little, little funny transition right there. Just kind of scrape that down. There we go. It is a little weird sometimes uh, working on an asymmetrical form like this because your tool is not pressing equally all the way around. So you have to do a little few things by hand. Okay. There we go. I'm going to just back that out, pick that up. There we go. Much lighter and that is how you trim with using the flexible sliders. They are just terrific and they can really adjust quite dramatically. So I, uh, I highly recommend them. If you already use a Giffen Grip, it's a nice worthy little investment um, to make your life just a little bit easier to trim, especially if you are accustomed to doing irregular shapes like this.